Our News 9 Sylvia Corkill is in Gage, where many families returned home to find nothing left. Monday night, mandatory evacuations forced dozens of families out of their homes and into safety. Today, many of them returning, only to find there's nothing left. Yeah, my dad had put, he, yeah, he put a garage on the side here of the house, and he did all of it himself. Nathan Ehrlich's parents built his childhood home in 1979. He says his father planted nearly every tree on the property and added on a garage before he passed away. His mother called him last night, telling him their family's house and barn were in the line of fire. I was in Enid, and um, my mom just said the house was on fire. <laughs> she had come out to try to come down here, but she couldn't, and so she went to my sister's house and got the animals, and they evacuated. They had to evacuate from her house over at my sister's house, too, at one point. Right now, a lot of people are asking how they can help. There has been a fund set up at Oklahoma State Bank in Gage. The airport here also collecting feed and hay for livestock. In Gage, Sylvia Corkill, Oklahoma Zone, News 9. Our thoughts are with all of them, Sylvia. Thank you for that report. New here at 6 o'clock, a firefighter helping with those wildfires in Ellis County is metaflighted to OU Medical Center right here in Oklahoma City. The volunteer fire department out of Alva says one of their firefighters was on the back of a truck when it collided with another truck. The firefighter fell off and we're told a piece of equipment injured them. This is video from Jim Gardner and Bob Mills Sky News 9 after the firefighter was loaded into the ambulance. Their injuries right now are not known.